Vivarium. This November, Fragbox TV coming to the Netherlands. Again, I can't believe it's been a year. Um, I need recommendations. Comment below, email us, help us. Where should we go? What should we record? What should we see? Stores, really cool tanks. Maybe you're watching this. We also want to go to Belgium. Even anything kind of around there, Western sort of Germany, uh, you know, everything in Europe is quite close. So we will have a rental car, we will come to you or we will go to the places you recommend, your LFS, something cool and unusual. We'd love to see it, even if we just meet up and have some, some beers and have a good time. Belgium, Netherlands, this November, need your recommendations, comment below. I'm gonna read them and I'm gonna take you up on your offer. If you say March come, you know, I have the craziest, Pico Reef Casa Tank or I have a 5,000 liter whatever, I'm gonna come and check it out. So that is the main point of today's video. The second point of today's video is we need coral. We need a good amount. We are starting to run low, but I don't want to make an order just yet. So usually I like to let this tank get more or less completely, completely empty and then fill it up. I don't know why, I just like that feeling. It also gives us a chance to clean. That's what we're doing over here in our WYSIWYG tank. If you've noticed on the site, there's not that much WYSIWYG right now. I'm contemplating actually taking this down, not taking down, converting it into an acro-dominated SPS sort of frag grow. Why? Because we get really good color in here. I mean, crazy, crazy color. And I think it's because this section, the flow is super intense. I can really crank this Radeon Gen 5 Pro up really, really strong. And the way we run the racks, they're um, quite high to the surface. Lots of flow, lots of light. All the acro I stick there, they just end up looking so healthy and so perfect. Oh my God, look at this snail. This guy's got pretty cool hairstyle going on right now. Buddy, clean your back. So. I'm thinking about doing that and maybe moving the WYSIWYG to somewhere else in the store. Right now, this is our acro sort of frag section that we offer. It's a little bit light. We don't have too much in stock right now, but I don't get the same color um, in this tank. Like not nearly as good as that one over there. And I've done a lot. I played with the lights. It's hard to get flow in something this big. It's about 140 gallons. In here, it's quite easy. And we don't really have that much acro in the store. So I feel like it's just asking for me to do it We'll see. So what am I saying over here about the corals? I don't want to do an order because I also want to go before the end of the year, hopefully, if not this year, then early next year to Indonesia. I'm dying to go back to Bali. I want to go underwater. I want to take you guys with me. I want to get a proper underwater camera and I want to do dive videos. If you guys have ever seen some of the Jake Adams ones where he would, you know, first go under and then he would uh, voice over after. I want to kind of get into that. I want to take you below the depth. So I do the, all the traveling around the world and I give you all my commentary on stores like this one, or sometimes we do manufacturing. You know, we have visited, actually visited quite a few in the past year. We did Tunes over in Germany. Check that out. We did theirs. Love these guys, five year warranty. I want to go visit Julian Sprung. This is high on my list. Where else have we been? Sice, also want to visit them. Very high on my list. Just an excuse to go to Italy. We went to Eheim, probably one of the most impressive factories I've ever been to even forget not, not even to do with reefing and, and saltwater tanks just crazy impressive we went over to Nios we checked them out in Germany uh, who else have we seen oh Aquaforest we've been to their place in Poland mm, where else where else Reefroids that's on my list too Canadian company made here in Canada I would love to visit Ecotech if you guys are watching and would let us come check out how you guys do things Neptune so we do a lot of that, a lot of stores, we even visit people's houses and we do sort of the industry, the backside, you know how manufacturing is done. I want to do more Andawata and I really want to get out there again. I want to do Australia. I'm talking about all my travel plans. Okay, I'm getting to the point of this. The point is I don't want to order now. I really want this to get empty before I go so that I can just bring back, you know, boatloads of the most amazing coral. But I'm sort of at this in-between stage. We were about 50%, 40% full. So if you guys are watching, you're local, you're in Canada, you have any colonies that you would like to get rid of, maybe trade in, store credit, cash, email me. Let me know what you have because I don't want to do a full-on order overseas because I'm committed to 150 to 250 pieces, which is more than I can handle right now in our beds here. 
but I don't like it looking so, so empty. So I want to promote sustainability and I want to buy corals back from you guys. You help me, I'll help you. Scratch my back, we'll make some frags. You know what I'm talking about? Some of the corals in this tank actually came from customers here locally, like this bird's nest. I didn't really want it because we have a lot, but I love it. It's a cool looking coral. It sits in the corner and it's so easy for us to frag. When somebody wants an easy to keep hard coral, we just walk over to the bird's nest. Here you go, here's a piece. Here's our birds of paradise. Here's our Syria. I always pronounce it wrong. Seriatorpa, Seria, Seriatopora. I don't know how to say it. Same idea with this one. This red digi came to us from a local guy in a big old bucket. And uh, it's just a great piece to have and really, really easy to snap frags off of for hobbyists looking for really easy hard coral. So if you have, let us know. If you're in Belgium or Netherlands, again, let us know. And I guess, I guess that's it. I think that was the point of today's video. Maybe I'll leave you with one more thing. I want to show you a prototype I'm working on in the basement. This is our Reef Casa Ghost Tank. My opinion, the most underrated tank in the whole lineup, just because it's so different. You know, we don't see a lot of white aquariums. Um, you got to stay on top of cleaning it because it'll really show off everything. But when it's sparkly and clean, the contrast against the corals is really cool. It's just completely, completely different than anything else out there. We even worked with VCA in the States to create a white random flow generator. We make this in Canada. This is our ghost white lid. We have a white filtration cover. I'm even working on making a white version of our halo light, this one here. And this is one that you haven't seen yet. This is a hanging kit version. I'm just at the end of prototyping. There's been very, very little demand in this. I think it's cool. You know what? A lot of things that I make, I, I make because I think they're cool and then it's not really as well received as I thought by people when we release it. This is one of those examples, but I don't know. I just think it's super, super sleek. And if it wasn't sleek enough, I have to show you now what I'm working on in the basement. Let me show you. It's gonna be the next version of that tank. <laughs> Haunted basement. Let's go see the ghost. If he's moved anything, you guys don't believe me. Come spend a night here. Okay, I just put sand in it because I'm testing the position of the pump, but basically, it's super minimal. It's like the next level of the ghost tank where we have just this for the filter instead of the entire back, just the corner. Because I found that a lot of people, they weren't really utilizing the whole thing. You have your filter floss, you put some carbon, maybe some biomedia and a heater, but then throughout the middle here, so many of our customers, when I talk to them, they're not actually using it. They don't set up fuges, they don't put refugium boxes. It's just a big empty space. And then on the end, your return pump. So you end up losing all of this real estate across the back of the tank when you're really only using this section here for your mechanical and chemical filtration and then the pump in this section so all of this becomes just acrylic just a piece of large acrylic so man i should have shot this before i put it in because it's really cool the way it looks you can see directly directly through the tank so you really get you know one, two, three, almost four sides, depending on where you're going to put it. If you, if we do come out with this, it's very, still very early prototype stages. Um, I do like to kind of over design stuff. So one already flaw that I saw, I wanted to hide the nozzle here at the bottom, but I had sort of a dum-dum and I uh, just added the sand because I was thinking, you know what, what happens when, if this is too strong, exactly that. So that was a bad idea. This prototype that's why I do prototypes. It usually takes me three or four tries before you see something come to market. This is not going to be the one. This is one we'll, we'll give away or we'll sell really cheap. So what I'm going to do now is move this over here, top here. I'm going to make a new filter floss holder, which allows the, the line to come up and then through. And then I'm still working on the logistics. I mean, like how you're going to get the floss, maybe it's gotta come, you know, sort of this way and then up and around, but those are things I'm gonna figure out. I know it's gonna take me two or three more tries, but I love this part of it. I love designing new things. I love taking a, a sketch pad and pencil and drawing it out. And I just wanna do stuff that's new. I feel like it's the, the market's a little bit stagnant. Everything is just kind of the same. And I just wanna mix it up. I have a couple other cool designs, long, long, skinny designs, bookshelf designs that I'm working on, um, but they're all up in the brain. Oh, what else is new for Reef Casa? We also have these now, Aqua Ninjas. So if you've gotten tired of hitting a feed mode on your, um, on your pump, these now come with a controller. It's like a little upgraded pump, DC controllable, very energy efficient, very quiet, three year warranty. And uh, yeah, I'm always working on something new. So I hope you guys give me some good suggestions and I hope you also send me some, uh, some corals you guys wanna trade in or get rid of. And that's it, I will leave you uh, and we'll see you back here on the next episode of Fragbox TV. Bye for now.